So I wanted to bring you guys down on a very special journey, Lower Manhattan. As you know, we have opened an office eight months ago on 85 Broad Street, working out of the WeWork, which has been an unbelievably great experience um, for the team that we've built over the last eight months to the incredible people that we've worked with from clients to speaking opportunities to all the things that has happened over the last eight months. I just wanted to thank you for being a part of it and shoot this uh, next chapter video for you here in front of a couple of very important places. I'm actually currently looking out onto the Statue of Liberty back here, um, which represents for me power and glory and so much of what the city is about. And we're standing to the right of Pier A Harbor, which is a beautiful 28,000 square foot restaurant in Manhattan. And the reason that I'm here is because a good friend of mine, Richard Kennedy, was instrumental in building this um, and he was instrumental in getting me back to New York. We were going to do some business deals together and he was the man that single-handedly rebuilt Lower Manhattan after 9-11. He was the one that was in the meetings trying to figure out what do we do now that the, the, the lights and the phone call and the cords have been cut. Who do we call? How do we get people in? What do, how do we get electricity? He was instrumental in all of that. And he and I were working on some business projects and he said, you should come back to New York and you should be back here. And so I came back to New York a couple of years ago with big ambition and big dreams, part of which was going to be to work with him on some projects. And about a month after I got back to New York, he passed away, had a heart attack, died in his bathroom, his partner banging on the door trying to get in there. And um, this place brought me back to New York in so many ways and it was the best decision that I ever made. And then the third angle, so we have the Statue of Liberty, we have Pier A, then we have the Freedom Tower. And I think that, you know, when you think about what the Freedom Tower represents, if you have liberty over here and you have hope and new opportunity here, I think the Freedom Tower represents the very real possibility that this day is the last day that you get. And I think that once, you know, I've I had some friends that lost people in that 9-11 tragedy and I think that for me, I try every single day to remind myself that this could be the last shot and that every single day is valuable and every single day is vulnerable and every single day is precious and special and magical and powerful and an ability to connect and an ability to be you because life is fragile. And all of these three kind of triangular things make me think of that. And then directly this way, we have our office. And 85 Broad Street has been a very special place for the last eight months for all of us, for the team, for the clients, for the people that have come through for the internships and for the interviews and for the show and BTV and all the stuff that we've been able to do, I'm very, very proud of. And today, December 20, first um, will be for now the last day that we're there because we're moving on to bigger and better things in 2018 and I think that the important thing that I want to communicate on this last day here in the office with the team these amazing people standing behind these cameras that you can't see but surely can feel is that it's okay to go through change it's okay to evolve it's okay that things don't always look how you think they're going to look. And the only thing that we can do all day long, every single day, is live in the moment, treat the people around us with the most respect that we can, and give everything that we got to the moment that we have. And from there, what happens, we don't really know. But just like people that came to work on 9-11 didn't really know that was the last shot they would have, just like people that traveled from different countries to be in this city didn't have any idea what lied before them. And just like this man who was so instrumental in rebuilding a city during its most vulnerable time didn't know when his last day would be in a bathroom, that's what drives me. That's what motivates me. 
I'm so proud of what we've done with this team. I'm so proud of what we built here. I'm so proud of what all of this represents. But I also know this, you have to adjust and you have to evolve. And when opportunities come and when you're creating new things and you're leading with genuine intent and genuine goodness and a heart that's pure and a desire to serve and a desire to make your mark in the world, sometimes it's in an office on 85 Broad Street, sometimes it's building a restaurant, Sometimes it's on a stage, sometimes it's behind the camera, sometimes it's writing an article, sometimes it's a million different things, literally a million. Sometimes it's skateboarding or building a beautiful light fixture. The only thing that I know for sure is that every single person, every one of us, every one of you, every one of you that is watching has one thing, has one thing that you're really, really good at. My wish for you today, as we close one chapter and open the next, is that you go, all in a thousand percent into the thing that you know because you know why you're here and then just watch the magic unfold watch it unfold eight months ago in an irish pub in midtown manhattan with my friend thomas i said i want to build a team in new york i want to i want to feel it i want to feel the city i want to build a team eight months later we did it 2018 i want to lead a latin america wide competition where we're finding the best entrepreneurs in Latin America and bringing them to the Silicon Valley, funding their investment, bridging the gap, uniting the Americas. It's more important now than ever. And I feel it, that we connect instead of divide, that we unite instead of divide. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I, I look forward to seeing what you're gonna do in 2018. And I look forward to seeing the lives that you're gonna affect. And if that looks one way and you thought it was gonna look another way, fine. And if that feels one way and you thought it was gonna feel another way, fine. Just stay open to the fact that life is always changing and the fact that you woke up today to watch this video and the fact that I woke up today to shoot this video and the fact that we might wake up tomorrow to live another day is in and of itself all we need to know so for 2018 I'm wishing you abundance and health and joy and prosperity and opportunity but most of all I'm wishing you gratitude for thanking you for being on this journey with us thanking you for your attention and your comments and your likes and your feeds and your energy and most of all, thanking you for letting me and all of us do the thing that we love the most, which is to create content for you, which is to serve you, which is to be a sounding board, a cosmic sounding board for you to figure out what is that thing that you want to do. So when that day comes for you that you don't have another shot, the person on the other side of the camera or the other side of whatever says about Santa or Thomas or Nick or you, they did it. They lived it real full. They lived it as good as they possibly could have. And I will say, every day for the last eight months, there have been successes and failures and tears and smiles. But at the end of the day, I can guarantee you one thing. We all did this thing the best that we could. And that is all you can do. Happy New Year.